Welcome back to my Kami HD. I'm Dear Darling, and I'm Atarasu Kami Sama no Gokuku Ka Aramas Yoni. Where last time, the frightening revelation that Lao that we had known this entire time has been um, the Dark Lord posing as Lao, and um, Queen Himiko is deceased. So, I suppose where we see where we can go from here. This is uh, the hero's journey, the, the downfall before the, the redemption like arc or something at the end. I forget what the, the actual arcs are called. <laughs> Amaterasu had allow allowed the Dark Lord to slip away. Okay, allowed is a bit strong. I didn't really have much of a choice, I think, in it. The display of evil sent chills down the wolf's spine. Who is this narrator, by the way, this entire time? You think it's like older Eason or something? Because it's been spoken about as if it's like a mythos? Amaterasu and Eason were left to wallow in overwhelming sadness. Queen Himiko had remained steadfast in her quest to find Oni Island. In the end, she lost her life at the hands of a Dark Lord. With Himiko died, with Himiko dead, all clues to the what? When Himiko died, all clues to the location of Oni Island. What? <laughs> I don't know how that was meant to be. With Himiko dead, there were no more clues left to Oni Island, probably. Amaterasu and Eason were left with nary a shred of hope. I'm pretty sure we've seen Oni Island. It's like it's like a big old evil-looking mountain, isn't it? Giving up on their quest seemed the only option. That's when they noticed that the blood caked crystal wall spewed forth by the Dark Lord clearly displayed an image of Himiko. Eason, doubting his eyes, listened intently as Himiko began speaking. She explained that only Island would not be easy to find, and that she had determined to become ethereal and enter the crystal. She, she had determined to, what she was determined to become pure and enter crystal. Ball herself, in search of clues, she had allowed herself to be consumed in order to use the Dark Lord's power. What? She was also aware. But am I losing my mind? I don't understand what you were saying. She was also aware that the Dark Lord now possessed by fox rods, or was planned. Oh, okay. So what she wanted was to happen. She she utilized the Dark Lord's power of the fox rods to imbue herself within the crystal. Himiko's will infused a crystal pool with great power. The fortress housing, the dark forces materializes, materialized. Only Island appears only at sunset in a certain location. The place revealed by the crystal ball was none other than a spot just off the northwest shore of the Oshima coast, near the spot known as Watcher's Cape. Only Island will appear again at Watcher's Cape at the next sunset. A small glimmer of hope returned to our hero's hearts, and just as the image of Oni Island faded from the crystal, a deep crack appeared and split Himiko's image. This is some crazy art, look at it! She had paid the ultimate price for manipulating the dark power. The crystal itself had been spent, the destiny of Himiko's very soul had been inextricably intertwined or that of a crystal ball. A burst of blinding light heralded the crystal's demise. Himiko's soul was caught up in the shattered fragments and drifted serenely toward the heavens above, even as she prayed fervently for Amaterasu's safe passage. Time. Terrible time. Lots of money, though. Foxface defeat Evil Owl. Ami, the sun's gonna set soon. Only Island's gonna disappear. That revelation Himiko risked her life to tell us. Whatever we do, we can't let it go to waste. There's no way we have one in-game day to actually do this, right? Who cares if we can't break a barrier on Oni Island? Let's make a beeline for Watch's Cape, Ami. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> I was like, where is a red circle? Himiko, it can't be. I don't know what on earth was going on when Rao was just in that corner, just like, not in shadow. I'm also like, a little bit confused. I thought the orb could continuously locate Oni Island each day. So why did Himiko need to sacrifice and use the Dark Lord's power to also locate it today? I think I misunderstood something. Because <laughs> that, that doesn't make sense to me. Um, that she could locate it this entire time, but also 
needed the Dark Lord's power to seal it, and then this one time that she did it, it broke. For some reason. I don't know if I'm... I probably misremembered. Probably she was just like, oh, using this orb and something. Like, that's why I thought she sealed it, because she was just basically going to be a compass for us. And we try and make it work somehow. We're not going to help you, alright? We're not going to be like, yo, king, your wife's dead. Like, sorry about that, or whatever. I mean, like, we didn't do it, but still. Um... I... I don't even know where her husband is necessarily. Wasn't he on like a, a place adjacent to all this? Or maybe I'm making it up. Oh, you know what? He might be in the other section of the thing. Hey, the sun's gonna set if you don't get let out. Let's make a be- Oh my god. Beeline for Watch's Cape. Okay, fine. We'll run. I swear, if these guards stop us. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm not really gonna do anything, but I am gonna just be like, what on earth? Hey, how'd you get him? Okay. Sorry about that, Queen Himiko business. They're gonna, you know, if this was like a D&D &D campaign, I'm gonna be like, they absolutely 100% will think that we slew Queen Himiko. Where are all the Sakura Blossoms gone? That we spent so hard, so much time to rejuvenate. No, wait, hold on. That wasn't the aristocratic quarter, was it? Please just let me teleport there. Like, I don't, I don't see why we need to run there. <laughs> why? I don't get it. Why game? It doesn't make sense to me. We could just teleport next to the place, <laughs> but we had to run there. Oh well. I mean, it's a nice run. It's a good old walk of nature, and I suppose it certainly has its own stakes and dramatization. But why? <laughs> I was holding W and of course holding W immediately locks us out again. We're gonna do anything about like that was dead body that we found in the, the tunnel. One, two, three, four, five. I got oh my word, please. I just pressed W to try and go forward, forgetting the fact that it's going to be spun around. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess we're in a perpetual sunset now, so it makes sense narratively, which is fair. Um, because I was wondering how it's going to work story, st story wise. Interesting to see how um, the sort of like post game of Akami panned out. Because I was wondering where they were going to take the story after Orochi. And it's just like, oh, you have, like, new demons to defeat or something. And I was like, all right, fair, I guess. Um, but yeah. I wonder what the signs would have been from early on. If it, if there were even, like, hints from early on that Rao was not all that appeared. I mean, I thought she was not all that appeared. I thought she was, like, more of a spirit, like a, like a more powerful entity or something. Pretending to be just, like, a innocent... What? How enough did you get into the city? Security's so tight, no one should be able to get through. Oh well, suppose we need more about dog too much. You look too, far too cute to be a demon in disguise anyway. Oh, was it we run up this way? How do we... It was this way. Okay, yes, yeah, so this way. What do you mean, how do we get into the city, by the way? We've been here this entire time. Don't you know us as, like, the saviour of your city? Maybe you don't. Aren't there normally guards here? I'm losing my mind. Nothing makes sense to me anymore. I, I, I think I've forgotten everything about this game. Um, okay. So. That's a lot of cloud over there. The only way we can get up there, I believe, is by going up uh, the cat statue, right? Oh, come on. Did we buy fish for you? We did. Nice. <laughs> we interrupt this program to feed some cats. Okay, you know what? No time for this. God, the camera angle. 
absolute nightmare sometimes. I can't even see the paw prints. <laughs> we should go back to the dojo at some point. Now that we have so much yen. Let's try and do stuff, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we saw this island the entire time, didn't we? I don't know what we're going to do there if we can't break the barrier. Do you think Wacker's going to be like, yo, I've got an idea. Uh-oh. Was I too slow? Night time already? That means Honey Island's vanished from the world to the Watcher's Cave. We'll never be able to find it again. Who's that? Huh? I should slap myself for being so negative. I'm a complete idiot. Time's too precious to waste. If our revelation Himika risked our life to tell us, whatever we do, we can't let it go to waste. Who cares if we can't break with Baron Oni Island? Let's make a beeline for Watcher's Cave at me. Oh, wow, we actually were... We actually did run out of time. I thought that was just a cutscene that I would play. But no, it turns out we, we, we legitimately ran out of time. <laughs> that's, that's actually very funny. <laughs> um, Because we were, we were literally right there. Like, there, there was that NPC. Don't know who that NPC was, but... We're about to talk to them. And that honestly seemed like a really reasonable place for a cutscene to start playing. So I was just like... So I thought it was going to be some sort of grand revelation. Be like, oh, it well, turns out we do have time because of X, Y, Z. Are you serious? We were literally right here and we ran out of time? Otohime. Ah, so it's a watch dragon princess. I am a Tadasu. Hiya, babe. <laughs> you can't call everyone babe like that. How do, you, uh, how do you even find this place? I sense Queen Himiko's fathomless regret upon her last breath. It made its way to the distant halves of the Dragon Palace. What? Behold the sun. Even now it sinks down beyond the sea. Once it is gone, so too shall Oni Island disappear. No one knows where it will appear next. And no art known to mortals can divine its location. And that may be true, but uh, listen, it really doesn't matter because we can't break the barrier. Is she going to sacrifice her life or something to break the barrier? We're going to lose every single babe that we found? <laughs> Even I'm calling her babe now. I mean, the water dragon was our only hope and it's dead now. The water dragon is not dead in true sense of a word. I can harness its power with a sincere prayer to the dragon orb. Behold, Amaterasu, I... Otohime of the Dragonians shall transform into a dragon and break through the wall that divides. Oh, okay, she's gonna transform into the dragon now. <laughs> Excuse me. May I serve you as a divine bridge to the heavens? Okay. So I guess it's some sort of sacrifice. Where she becomes the next successor of the water dragons. She's got earrings. <laughs> Strangely. Um, you know what? Carry on that fashion, even in draconic form. And you're a bit more of an eel, I would say. Oh, you're going to be a literal bridge. You weren't joking about that whole bridge aspect. I, I thought you meant like you would be like a metaphorical bridge, you shatter the barrier and we can get on. Now at Namatarasu, you must cross while life yet courses through these veins. Okay, hang in there, babe. I will be back in a jiffy. Sorry, Fable. <laughs> Looks like minute dumplings aren't in your stars. You'll have to settle for kicking some monster butt on Oni Island. So, okay, so she's signed a death warrant. I suppose. Um, I love a map. Um, because now she is sacrificing her life to get, get, grant us passage into Oni Island. I'm, well, I don't know. Like, is she just going to die at some point? Listen up, Ami. Himiko is probably watching over us, so promise me you won't give up for some stupid reason. Like, you're hungry, I have to go to the bathroom. Are you? Oh, wait a minute. What? You gotta be kidding me. How do humans gonna be history if you don't hurry? Okay, well, I guess we have to... Like, go? Okay, then. I'll hold you to your word. Does that mean we have to finish this all in once? 
There's, there's like no save points from now on? There's no way that's true. Well, we'll, we'll keep going for five minutes. I, I don't know what will happen afterwards because um, I don't... I'm not going to have enough time to do all of this otherwise. Oh, interesting. Are we going to get um, the fire person to give us a fire spout? Well, uh, that looks nasty. Normally we'd be crispy critters if we touch that stuff. But it shouldn't be any different from water for you now, Amy. Come on, how about some of that water magic of yours? Okay, never mind. Excuse me? Can we talk to, like, you as well? What the heck are you doing, Furball? You're gonna break over time and use concentration. Cut it out. She, she really do be sweating. Excuse me? Isn't this how you do it? I thought we'd, we'd do, like, a plume upwards. Oh, there we go. So I guess this is probably a point of no return. That's probably why Eason was asking. Uh, I definitely do not have enough time to record this, if that, if that is the case. And I'm pretty sure these yellow Tory gates do not save our progress. So... I guess we'll see what happens. I hope, beyond hope, there is a save point in here. Only island, okay. Can we, like, create a bridge, maybe? No, oh, okay. Uh. I don't really see how we get across. there's pathways out to each side but it looks like there's something over there oh okay well there's something more interesting over here it seems why do we have this here Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. Excuse me? You almost denied me my treasure chest. And I would be incredibly outraged. Not really, to be honest, but... Um... I'm not sure what we're going to do if there is no save point in here. <laughs> it's pretty late right now for me. So I don't think I can really record another episode. So let's just try and push forward, get inside, we'll see what happens, we'll figure it out as we go, sort of dealio, um, I presume there are two ways inside then, like this, okay, oh, okay, I can't, Oh, red only, blue only, it looks like. Um, but like horses, okay. Uh, my fault immediately. Slow you down. Okay, slow you down. Whoa! Where did you even come from? Do you think we actually behave like red only and blue only? Where one is like super aggressive. Slash. Okay, slow down. Chill out. What you waiting for? Okay, chill out. Uh, slow down is like really OP. Slow down, you. No, S excuse me, slow down, please. This is like so strong. Slash.
and then just slow you down again. I wonder what the highest DPS DPS um weapon is. Because if we switch to that, that'd be probably pretty good. That was amazingly fast. Um, I guess we'll just keep going until we can get a save point, if at all possible. And if we can't, then we're just kind of a bit doomed, aren't we? I guess I'm recording a third episode today, which is not what I intended, but... Or I'll just do it again, I don't know. Oni Island? Yeah, you'd have to be pretty... You'd have to have a pretty well mind to build a castle here. I bet those two bit monsters think they're big shots living here. Let's teach him a lesson by finding our way to the top and dragging that fox headed wench down by the scruff of her neck. Okay, thank the Lord. There is a save point. Who the heck are you? Oh, who goes there? Uh, hey, how did you get in here? You ain't coming to invade us, poor folk of Oni Island, have you? If you have to, you've got me to answer to. A fight to end all fights. And the best way to sell it, sell it, with a bit of business, of course. Okay. Seven strike. Grants ink but power. Okay. I mean, we might as well buy it. Like, what else are we going to spend our money on? It's a new weapon. Okay. Well, I guess we'll round this episode off here. And we'll see what happens next time. I guess this is like a tournament thing. Um. Where we're just going to be doing a lot of fighting. I'm not really sure. Anyway. Um, if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Akami HD. I've been dear darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares, greatly appreciated. Socials, Discord down below. Hope to see you jump again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye bye for now.